welcome to another episode of uh, Get Fit, Lose Weight. And um, in this video, I'm going to speak to you about the common mistakes that people make when they're 40 years old or over when they're returning back to exercise. So by the way, I'm Ross Philippe. I'm a qualified personal trainer and I've been doing it for about 15 years. And I want to answer some questions in depth that you may be wondering about or sometimes things that you may cross your mind and you're not sure, will I give you my honest answers I've been in the industry 15 years, probably more than that now. So I'm quite versed in this subject. And as I said in today, I want to answer, I want to go over the common mistakes that um, I see that 40 year olds making or 40 and above make when they're getting back to exercise. So probably the biggest one is thinking that you can go back to what you were doing when you were maybe 20 or 25. Um, because you probably, in your mind, you forget that you've had, probably had like a 15 year gap and you may have been into sprint training, you may have been running around the cliffs, you may have been going to the gym regularly, you know, doing weight training, cardio. And of course, in your mind, you're gonna go straight back to that and do that again, but in, actual fact it's quite dangerous to do that because your body has become deconditioned so basically your muscle strength has decreased your bone density has decreased and your general fitness and your lungs and your heart capacity is decreased so if you try going back to what you were doing you may do quarter of it and absolutely feel awful maybe a bit sick a bit nauseous so what you need to take into consideration is if you're getting back into fitness and you haven't exercised for 15 years, take it so slow that you think you're almost going too easy. And what this will do, it will gradually step you in to getting back into your fitness. So for example, if you go to the gym and you used to do 20 minutes sprint training on the treadmill, you used to do 20 minutes going through on the cross trainer, half it or even quarter it, you may wanna try maybe five or 10 minutes really slow pace. This is for your first session back in. Take it so easy that you're barely pushing yourself. And what this will do, this will gradually get your body conditioned as steady step process. So you start here, you step up, you step up each session. And what this will do, it'll prevent injuries and it'll actually make sure you enjoy your routines, enjoy your gym sessions. Because if you go back into it flat out and you go for it as hard as you can, right? A, you're probably gonna feel awful and sick because you're not conditioned for it. And B, you're gonna hate the workout and you'll probably won't keep it going. So um, it's, you know, it's quite common sense, but it's a massive mistake people make. They come in and just go for it or they'll try and go for a run outside. They'll think, well, years ago, I used to go for a three, four mile run. I'm gonna do the same again. And what happens, they get five minutes down the road, they can't breathe anymore, they feel awful and they've got to walk and they come back to the house and say, oh, I, I went for a run, I couldn't do it, I'm not doing that again. So it's actually, it's missed the whole point of starting out again. And all that means is you've taken it too hard too soon. It's a very simple rule and I hope this has helped someone because this can be, implemented to anything. If you're getting back into weight training, do your weights very light. If you're doing cardio, do less time, take it easy. If you're doing anything with to do with fitness, if you're going for power walks, do a really short route. So the summary of this is, do not, do not go back to what you were doing 15 years ago. You simply won't be able to do it. You will be able to get there, but it's a steady state, slow process. Your first few sessions have to be so easy that you actually leave thinking I probably could have worked harder and that's a good sign you're doing it right. Anyway guys, short video, I hope this helped. As usual, if you like the stuff on this channel, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Live life to the fullest, focus on the positive and make your difference today. Take care.